Hi, this is Lex from Cyrus Gaming. Today we're going to do another unboxing video, but this time we're gonna unbox an action figure. Um, it's going to be a McFarlane action figure. It's gonna be a multi-pack, and uh, it's going to be the latest Superman and Armored Batman uh, multi-pack from McFar McFarlane. So, uh, well, for those who've already owned a couple of these, uh, already knows that there's already a lineup for, um, you know, for the Dark Knight Returns McFarlane figures, especially the ones that includes uh, a bath or what we call as the build a figure um, where you can build a horse, assemble a horse once you, you know, get four of those um, uh, figures. So right now, McFarlane did a re-release, but this time only with Superman and Armored Batman. And um, this is the, the front box. Right here you can see, you can see both of them, Clark and Bruce and the side. All right. Now you can see there a little bit at the top, the Dark Knight Returns. Uh, and right there. And the back, oops, <laughs> there you go. And you can see a couple of uh, other figures to collect. Uh, there you go. All right, so let's take them out. Okay, so we've opened the box and uh, here they are outside the box. So um, if you've watched or if you've read the the Dark Knight comics, uh, the Dark Knight Returns comics from from Frank Miller, then you'll notice the you know how buff Superman is, and uh, if you've seen the film or the animated film, um, however, you don't see the Superman logo right here at the back. So that's something of a difference. Um, and uh, yeah, those are two figures. See if you can zoom in. There you go. And for Superman. There you go. Yep. And it does come along with two base, just like with the other multi pack, um, multi packs, and also like a, you know, a, like a diorama base. So if you want to have them pose on on it then you can do that too then you also have your collector cards right here two of them one for superman and the other ones for batman however if you want to decide to just you know make them stand uh you can use the the stand base or the base stands right here there you go so those are you know and i'm, I'm pretty amazed with the box too i mean look at that the, the, the art you can even use this box for you know for for background but the problem is that <laughs> you really have to rip this apart to take them off. So, you know, the box is going to be broken. So that's kind of been unfortunate. So it would have been nice to have them as a background though, but yeah. So let's take out the figures. All right, we're back. Uh, took me a while to take off the figures because they're so really secure. So you're not, you're not going to worry about, you know, the figures being loose. So um, let's go for Batman first. So if you look at the design right here, um, it's really comet accurate, especially the color. So the color has that has that bluish metallic uh, finish, which is really good. And the belt right here is, you know, light yellow. So that which makes it really accurate on the comics as well as the, you know, the movie, it's kind of a bit bright yellow um, in a way, but um, you can definitely notice that, you know, with the with a cape, you can see the grainy effect on the, the cape is really, really amazing. Um, and you can see every bit of detail the figure is really amazing. You can you can see the, the cracks right here in the armor. Um, it's really cool. So it's really good. You can move. Uh, you cannot entirely move him to do a T-pose right here. So unfortunately, because of the piece here. And um, you can even turn the risks. Uh, how about for the elbows? Unfortunately, there's only, it's not, you can't really do much with the elbow, but you can pose him like this one and the other one here too. Yep. And you can, um, however, for the chest piece though, you can only turn left and right. You can even go as far as 
the back if you want to. However, you can't really have him uh, look down much with the, the uh, with a chest piece, chest area, unfortunately. So yeah, and for legs, and I'm it's surprisingly you know it's easy to to fold his bends, uh, you know his knees, his arms. It's pretty easy. It's not it's not like the classic McFarlane figures where you know. Um, they're re super hard where you really have to force them to, uh, you know, for, for them to do a pose. But, but for these figures, it's it's not. It's pretty easy. It's pretty cool. There you go. Now let's go for Superman. So for Superman right here. So the thing about the cape is that it's already been designed like, you know, it's flushing away because of the because of the wind. Um, in terms of articulation, you can move the you can't you can't really move the head that um really back because for some reason you can't really have him look up oh yeah there you go you can All right you can uh, i'm not sure it's uh uh there you go all right you can do that right here and for the arms good for superman you can make you can have him do a t-pose if you want to unlike batman the batman figure um, and then you can even bend his uh, legs so much if you want to. And for the chest piece right here, you can bend him back if you want to. There you go. And you can even have him, re um, hmm, for some reason you can't really have him look downward like Batman. So that's a little bit disappointing, but, but the overall quality of the figure is really great because, I mean, if you look at the the detail right here, except for the belt, though, the belt should have that uh, red stripe right here at the front. Unfortunately, it doesn't. So um, that's the only probably the the minor issue I can see in this figure. But uh, um, it's it's really great. I mean, if you look at his face, like you can see an older Superman, but I can say that he's more of a buffed one. Yeah, come on, focus, camera. There you go. Ah, uh, yeah, nah, that's good. That's good. All right. Here. And then for the other parts, though, um, you have to be careful with the cards because for some reason, uh, the bases are actually actually is taped with um with with the cards. So if you're not careful. You might accidentally rip off the cards so um if you don't have any plans of taking them apart you don't have a choice especially if you're uh if you're looking into just taking off the the stand uh, the base stand so fortunately there was a tape in between them so holding them together so i would say that uh you know just be careful when you see you open them up so here are the cards superman card right here i'm not sure Focus out of line. It's always out of focus when we're in. There you go. Looks good. And then for Batman, right here. All right. It's really good. Nice. Okay. And then we have here the diorama stand. So, you know, it, it's pretty cool uh, because, I mean, look at every inch of detail of that. I mean, it's really nice to have like if you can customize your own background you can you can do that so you know you can give that effect means if you're into toy photography so you know this base this diorama base is really really cool so yeah there you go so here are the two figures now you'll notice that on these two figures the multi-pack has the bluish finish while the uh the standalone one has this matte metallic uh gray or gray metallic finish um which obviously gives it a better uh for for me if i if i'm gonna choose which one's better i would go for the uh the black finish or the gray finish because it gives that really dark night feel like the, a modern one while the uh the the blue finish gives that you know classic feel well both of the figures are amazing no doubt i mean if you look at the the quality even even the the armor detail it's it's pretty much the same the only difference is the 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 color scheme so you can see that the belt here is gray and the other one is yellow even the eyes we can see the difference 
um this one right here has a more realistic feel or realistic look i'm sorry realistic look while the other one has that comic accuracy in place so it's sharper you can see the eyes are sharper the design is really from the comics so that's the great thing about this figure but in terms of articulation it's the same even the boot all of them are the same so yeah only minor improvements on this figure is really good all right so you can see both superman and batman are standing so they can you know they, they can stand on their own without the without the base without this so it's pretty cool um, however, there's just a slight problem with Superman's pose because if you can notice, he, he can't really stand straight. So you really have you know to bend him a little bit so that he can he can stand. But uh, it's not it's not really a huge problem. Um, and for surprisingly for for Batman, um, he's able to stand um, because the figure has that spiky uh, you know he has this spike boots <laughs> so it's gonna make it hard for him to stand but yeah I'm, I'm pretty amazed that he's able to stand properly though there you go now let's see how they look like when they're on this base all right there you go they're able to pose properly <laughs> and look at that Now oh, that's really amazing. There you go. So, what can I say about the Superman and Armored Batman multi-pack. I would, you know, if you're a big fan of The Dark Knight Returns by Frank Miller, then I highly suggest that you guys get these. Um, especially if you're not really looking for the, you know, uh, like building the, the horse. The only thing about the standalone with the bath uh, part um, is that the Batman design there was the unarmored one. So he was on his in his regular suit bat suit so that's something that you really need to find especially if you're looking to uh collect a lot of batman um batman mcfarlane figures so i i'm really impressed with the level of detail of each figures i mean um i know the the batman you know the one with robert pattinson that didn't really have really good um uh quality in terms about the sculpt and everything i was a little bit disappointed but you know the other figures however are really great i mean the if you if you've already completed the the justice league 2021 mcfarland figures you will definitely see the level of detail they you know that they've you know given each figures so um i would say thank you todd for <laughs> making this possible i'm just really waiting for a couple of batman figures especially from the movies like you know batman forever um christian bale uh um, more bat flight especially the the you know the batman versus superman one but yeah i mean all the upcoming i mean i'm really happy with the the dark knights um figures uh the batman who laughs merciless uh the drown i haven't completed but you know i don't want to get sideways or sidetracked i mean um i'm just really happy with the figure um i bought this for 2400 pesos so um that's almost around 50 dollars or that's technically 45 dollars i believe um for uh for you know in, in 200 uh 45 dollars or 50 dollars usd so yeah um if you're a big batman fan don't forget to get this it's already available um yeah check shopee marketplace or whichever your local retailer is from mcfarland shop or even toys r us go there um check if there are they already have this in stock and um don't miss it it's really cool um it's it's worthy worthy to be part of your collection so thank you guys for watching the unboxing video and see you again next time